What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Coach's Corner. Sports editor Ben Barkley sitting here with boys lacrosse coach, Coach Mitty. Coach, how you doing this? Hey, man, how you doing, buddy? Good. Uh, so before we go into a little bit of this season, let's talk a little bit about last season. You go second in the area, only behind Woodward, and then the loss in the Elite Eight. Talk to me about last season for a little bit. Well, it was a, uh, a good season. We had a tough schedule, probably one of the toughest schedules in the state as far as scheduling because in lacrosse you have 18 games but our areas are so small so we have a lot of room for putting uh, a bunch of really good teams together to get us ready for the playoffs and you know we we uh, we, we dropped the Woodward game and that put us at number two in the in the in the bracket so we ended up having to go to Westminster we won the first two rounds and then we had to go to Westminster for the third uh, Brown, and I guess if you know anything about lacrosse, Westminster is probably the pinnacle of lacrosse mm -hmm. in this state. So uh, lost, I don't know what it was, 11-7 to 7 or something like somewhere that. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around that. So we played well. We made some mistakes. We're a year older. So uh, I thought that experienced, you know, there's no, there's, there's no uh, ex excuse or uh, substitute for experience. And, and then uh, so I, th I think hopefully it, 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 it will, it'll pay off this year. So you're now going in a little bit into this season so far, 5-0, and you mm -hmm. know, a quick start to the season. How do you feel about that quick start, even though the season's still young? Still young. We've, we're, we're trying to cut down on the mistakes that we've made in the past. The guys know we've gone over it, you know, with them a lot and made them aware of we can't keep doing the same thing if we want to change the results. If we want to change the results, we have to do a little bit better of job of securing the ball and picking up ground balls and cutting down on turnovers, and they're, they're making an effort to do that. It's just that we got to continue to make the effort in critical situations and games. So, of course, you know, winter break, traveling down to Jacksonville, taking mm -hmm. on Bulls and Creekside, two good wins over mm -hmm. there. How did you feel about the success of the team during that I trip? I thought we played good. We got, I thought we got a little tired in the Creekside game, especially in the second quarter. Creekside made a run on us and cut it 7-6, to six, and then we went on a run, and ended up a 6-0 run and ended up winning 13-7. But, you know, the, that's always a good trip for the guys because they want to – that kind of bonds them and they get to – they kind of – it's a good team bonding thing for them. To get, you know, it gets us out of the environment, gets us out of our routine, and we're just able to focus on lacrosse. And, and uh, it's, all, it, it's always a good trip. So, you know, lots of talented players on your team. One person in particular, you know, we talked about him last year, Garrett Munich. Mm -hmm. For his last year, you know, his skill in the faceoffs. How important is that for the team? But huge. I mean, he, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's one of the best in the state doing what he does. I mean, really one of the best in the country probably doing what he does. Um, when you score a goal and you got a guy like that that can get you the ball back, it's pretty demoralizing for the other team and gives you a lot more offensive opportunities to, score goals, so it's, it's a big advantage. So uh, another thing we talked about last year, you know, the, the depth that you've had at goalie, and with Derek now graduated, Brock now taking the, the helm as a starting goalie, how confident are you in him for taking over a starter? Very confident. Brock and Landon kind of split time right now. It's an ongoing competition. Um, they're both very, very good. Brock was elected captain by, you know, the coaching staff, and and, it's, and, you know, his teammates love him. He's just one of those guys that works through everything. And, and, and it doesn't matter if Brock's starting or coming in second. He, don't, he doesn't care. Brock has the team, the whole team goals. That's his number one goal is the team goals. And, you know, if we have more guys on the team like that, then we'll, we'll go a long way in the playoffs if they can have his mentality. So, you know, good seniors this year on the team, mm -hmm. leadership-wise. You know, how do you feel about that? Good. The guys have seniors. done a good job so far. You know, you got Addison Long and Christian Sparkman, and you got guys like Brett Berkey, who's you know, even though he may not be a captain, he's one of our leaders. He plays very hard, and behind you know him and Garrett face off. Um, you got Cameron Hurd, who's our, one of our seniors. You know, and he does a great job. Um, so, you know, I don't know if I'm sure I'm missing some other guys, but there uh, there's seven of them this year. So, you know, they're all. They're all quality guys, you know. They just do right. Garrett, of course. They're just all quality guys that has played together for a long time. All of them have been in our program for four years, and they know the expectations. And you know, so you know, hopefully that that leadership will help us. So, of course, like I said last year, what 
Woodward, excuse me, knocked you off of the area championship. What's it going to take to knock them down a peg to take, go back up to area champions? Well, yeah. Woodward's not in our area this year. Oh, they right, got right. moved to yeah. love it in mm -hmm. Westminster. So, but we're still playing them. Um, and we may still have to not. We still have to play them in the playoffs because they're in a bit. They're probably in the toughest region with Lovett and Westminster. They reclassified yeah. this year in mm -hmm. lacrosse, so they do that a lot. So, because there's so many teams go in and out, and and you know there's only a little over 120 schools I think that play lacrosse. So they just put us in areas. But Woodward went up to Lovett and Westminster. It's closer to them yeah. mm -hmm. than to us. So, but we'll play them on the 27th. They got you know a guy that was. Designated Jack Dunn was supposed to come here, and he moved to Woodward. And they got Eric Molliver, who's a Maryland commit, and they're very good. Coach Pons does a good job. That'll be a good test for us, and kind of see where we line up. I always like to see how we do in games like that. So now tonight at 6 p.m. right here in Panther Stadium, you guys open up area play against Mount Sales. Mm -hmm. You know how important will a win be? You know to really set the tone for well, for area. You got to win your area games. Yeah. I mean, if you don't win your area games, all your goals are pretty much. There, there. You can get derailed real quick, kind of like us last year, in the number two seed. Um, you can lose home field advantage through the playoffs. You can lose, you know, you obviously use, lose the area championship. So, you know, it's an important game. The guys know that. They know that. You know, we harped on them enough to know that they know that all the area games are the most important games. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, okay, for your time thank, and good luck you. on thanks, the rest. Of the thanks season. for everything you guys do. Appreciate it. No problem. So. Like I said, come, come out to Panther Stadium tonight, 6 p.m., as Panther Boys Lacrosse team takes on Mount DeSales. See your boys Panther Lacrosse in action. From Coach Schmitty, the amazing Beck Algazi behind the camera, sports editor Ben Barkley here. Thank you guys for listening. Go Panthers.